Hello there. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to generate full body realistic images using Midjourney AI. First of all, you're just going to need a reference image or you can actually generate your reference image. For the prompts, you can use something that you find online or you can use this prompt and edit it up a bit. Now, the prompt is High detail, raw color photo, professional photograph of smiling Johnny Depp. Keep in mind, if you want consistent and realistic results, you will have to name the person that you are trying to generate. For example, we're just using Johnny Depp in this generation. You're going to define the clothes that you want them to wear. For example, a blue t-shirt with black jeans. And it's also best to describe the background. So for this one, we're using a matte gray I just repeat the word matte again, so it keeps that. And after that, we just added words like pastel colors, backlighting, beauty lighting, depth of field, natural lighting, hard focus, film grain, 3D render, ray trace, rendered, photograph. And in the end, we added the type of camera that we are using. For example, a Sony A7 mirrorless camera. And we're also going to say that the photo is taken by a professional photographer. Let's see the effect this prompt has on our generations. Just wait for it to create your images. You can see it generated us some pretty good results with the prompt that we used. As it was a pretty detailed and complex prompt. While generating your prompt, you have to keep in mind that you are talking to a robot and not a real person. So be careful to describe exactly what you want in your images. In this case, we don't like the t-shirt, so we can change that. And instead of a blue t-shirt, we're just going to add a white t-shirt. You can obviously edit this prompt a bit and maybe change the type of camera that you want. Or just add some color grading. But that's your choice. Just wait for it to create your images. It's done generating and we can take a closer look at the results. Now, if you want to turn these into a full body generation, there are a couple of ways to do that. And I'm going to showcase both of them. So just pick any image that you like and upscale it. Or if you want to use an existing image, you can do that too. You just need to copy the URL of it. We're also going to upscale this first one. For the first method, after upscaling your images, just click on it and hit the open in browser option. After it's open, right click the image and hit the copy image address. Over here, you can go down and hit slash imagine again. But now, paste the image address first so it uses your image as a reference image. And then type full body sketch or full body photograph of this person. And you can change the background scene a bit if you want, but that's your choice. After pasting the URL, I'm just going to type out my prompt which is full body photograph of Johnny Depp. And you can also change up the background a bit if you like. So we can try that for now. And just hit generate. Since it didn't generate a full body image this time, you can obviously hit generate again and it will generate that. It also changed up the clothing. So for that, we're just going to try it again, but with a different prompt. Copy your existing one. For this, we're just going to be editing up the prompt a bit by adding some other details. We're just going to add a white t-shirt, black jeans, and again, we're just going to type a jungle background just to be sure. We're also going to write full body image in caps to clarify it again for the bot.
we're just going to type full body cinema photography. After writing your prompt, just hit generate and wait for it to create your results. Uh, now it's done generating and you can see it generated us some pretty good results, but it's not a full body result. For that, we can try another method, which actually involves upscaling your images and then using the zoom out feature. What this does is basically keeps your base image and generates more stuff around it. We're going to try that with one of these as well. You can see it's done generating the zoom out image. It generates a few different versions. So you're just going to repeat that process again by upscaling it. And after upscaling, you're just going to hit the zoom out feature again. So it generates more surroundings. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.